Hey, this is Brian Mello, and you're watching the 24 Hours Podcast. T minus four, three, two, one. The following is a 24 Hours Podcast. Brian Mello, your Canadian Idol winner, the album called Living It. Are you loving it? I'm loving it. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it's it's been a, it's been a great few months, and uh, and uh, I'm just looking forward for uh, to see uh, how this uh, this album does in the future. Let's talk about the album. Uh, of course, all I ever wanted the song that I currently can't get out of my head. <laughs> when did you start recording the album? Uh, well, basically right after we uh, we finished the show. I'm, well, not recording, but I mean we we got into the writing process. So once the show was done, we got into the writing camps. Worked with a lot of great writers and. Um, and we did that for about a good month or so, and then after that, I got into the studio with uh, Jeff Dalziel, and then uh, and then for another full month, we just we were in that studio nonstop. So I mean, the time restraints were pretty tight, but uh, the two of us worked better under pressure. So uh, it, it turned out really well. well. Was it kind of a surreal moment to actually be recording uh, your, your first full-length CD? Yeah, it, it it was, but you know, at the same time, you're so busy and you're focused on what you're doing. Sometimes y you. Uh, you you don't even have time to actually sit back and relax and, and see what's what's going on. So uh, you know to actually see the whole finished product when I had the CD in my hand and, and I put it in my CD player, then that was the moment I was like, wow, okay, this is this is for real. And you've heard you've heard your song on the radio. What what was the experience like when you first heard yourself? Uh, it was cool. I remember I was I was uh, going into my car and uh, I was actually driving uh, to the studio, and uh, and I turned on my car and midway through my song was playing and it was uh, it was a bit of a trip. So. Uh, I actually just sat down. I didn't move anywhere, and I just I listened to it. So it was it was one of those really cool moments. When you go back in time, when you look at what what actually prompted you to uh, to apply for Canadian Idol, uh, it was my brother, definitely. I, I, about a, about a week before auditions, he uh, he kind of twisted my arm and told me like he's a musician himself. So he said, you know what, if I had these opportunities when I was your age, I'd be doing it every year. So I was like, you know what, you got a good point. And we kind of did this mock judging sort of thing. So I would kind of sing a few songs to him and. You know, he kind of judged me, and we figured out what I should do better, or you know, what I should keep. And then from there, I just you know kept a positive attitude and, and went in and just gave it the best I could and tried not to get you know nerves get the best out of me, basically. At the outset, did you think that you had a shot at this? I, there was this weird gut feeling that I thought I was going to go pretty far. I didn't know how far. I never thought I'd be able to win this whole thing. <laughs> but uh, but there was something in me that said, you know what, if you stay focused, if you do your work, and if uh, you know, if you don't let pressure get the best out of you, that you, you could probably you, do some damage. And, uh, and you know, here I am. And I, I never thought this would be the outcome, but, but I'm sure glad it is. Now, I think there was a couple of turning points for, for you. I, certainly, uh, when you did Karma Police, mm -hmm. uh, you know, you really won people over. At that point, are you thinking, you know what, uh, I might be able to win this thing? Uh, yeah, I think I think it crossed my mind because I mean I, I got the response from uh, you know the judges, the standing O, and I mean I mean the the energy in that place was pretty amazing. But I mean I'm a big believer of you know your last you're only as good as your last performance. So for me basically it was like that was great, but you know I think the next week was like standards or something. Now it was totally out of my element. So I just had to focus on that and make sure that I delivered the next week. So you know I I did you know that was a good week for me, and I thought that you know I did build a lot of momentum after that week. But I knew if you know if I slipped, I could be back in the bottom. So uh, so I just had to stay focused. You managed to rub shoulders with some pretty cool people, mm -hmm. music-wise. Like certainly John Bon Jovi, one of them. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. What what does that do for you as a as a young up-and-coming musician to actually have praise from people of that ilk? Uh, it, it was pretty amazing. I mean, you know, like people like like John Bon Jovi, like you, like you said, and I mean Queen. I mean uh, Brian May and Roger Taylor. And that you're was, a huge Queen fan. I'm right? a huge Queen fan. Yeah. So uh, to actually to actually, you know, perform one of their songs in front of them and actually get praise and get positive feedback and telling me, you know what, you're doing good, stick to what you're doing, w was uh, was pretty amazing. I mean, even to this day, Brian May gave me his email, so I mean, I can actually <laughs> chat with him online now, you know what I mean? <laughs> so cool. so he's uh, so he's a great guy. So um, he, he was probably the guy that's, that's taught me the most. And even still, I mean, he sends me emails and tells me to stay true to my heart, stay focused, and don't stray away from, you know, what you're good at. So, you know, working with people like that, uh, Paul Anka, um, you know, I mean, e even if you're in a room with these people for a half an hour, the experience that they have, the stories that they tell you, uh, you know, can go with you for a very long time. So, so I'm, I'm really blessed that I got to meet these people. How's the Canadian Idol Tour going? You know what? It's going really well. I mean, we've sold out almost every show that we've done. Uh, the responses have been great. Um, and, and, you know, I'm surrounded by great people. So it, it's been a great time. I've been able to see the East, now the West. So, um, I mean, it, it's just been great to go city to city 
you know, see all the beautiful cities and meet, and meet all the people. So it's been a great experience. When you travel across the country, I mean, you're from Hamilton, and, yeah. and you've got JD from Alberta, and, and Carly's from out here. Yeah. Is there any sort of regional fan favorite kind of thing, or is everybody sort of treated equally? Well, yeah, well, I, I think there's, there's always a little bi bias uh, on, on some competitors. I mean, when I was in Hamilton, I'm, I'm sure I'm going to get, you know, the, the biggest chair right. just because I'm from Hamilton. We just came from Red Deer, and, uh, you know, J.D. obviously got the biggest chair. But at the same time, you know, when J.D. was at, in Hamilton and he did his performance, they, they loved it and they soaked it up. They thought he was great. And when I was in Red Deer, the, I mean, they responded to me really well. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's, it's been great. But, you know, I'm sure with, uh, with Carly Rae tonight, I mean, uh, you know, B.C. is going to soak it up, yeah. you know. So, so I can't wait, and I'm really excited for her. And uh, where does Brian Mello go from here? What's uh, what, what are you working on for uh, for CD two? For CD two, well, basically, um, I'm looking forward. I'm still writing, and uh, you know, just kind of putting all these other songs in the bank. But right now, my main focus is on this album, uh, getting my next single out, which is probably going to be Shine, the first track, and um, and then from there, um, basically, get ready for my solo tour, which is probably going to happen in uh, the beginning of March. So uh, I'm just looking forward to, to show people uh, you know, what I've been up to these last couple months. Well, you, uh, you certainly impressed the country, and it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much, Brian. Thank you very much. All Take right. care. 24hours.ca